Hi, I'm Brandi Suchovich. I'm an elementary school music teacher, and today I'm going to show you the proper way to put together a clarinet. Now, first, you should make sure that your clarinet case, when you open it, that it's in a secure position, like on a table or on a floor, and never on your lap, because it could fall off and break very easily. And um, first, it's important to know the parts of your clarinet. So you have the mouthpiece, the barrel, the upper joint, lower joint, and the bell. You also need cork grease and a reed. So first you want to take your lower joint and the bell, and you always put your fingers on the holes and hold them down so that you don't bend them. If you put your fingers across, you can bend the keys, and then they don't go down the whole way. So you hold with your fingers and the other way, and you rub your hands together back and forth. You never push straight on because you can ruin the cork. Next, you take the upper joint, and again, you hold the tone holes down with your fingers, and you always want to make sure that you push down the holes so that the little keys in the middle don't rump, bump into each other. And you push those together. Next, you can secure your bell on your lap and put on the barrel. And lastly, goes on the mouthpiece. Then if you have trouble with your cork, if it dries out, there's something called cork grease, and you rub it onto the cork to help it to be more lubricated. But it's not like lipstick. You never want to rub it on um, straight away because there's too much and it gets really messy. So you always just want to take one fingertip, a little rub, and then just rub it in just the teeniest little amount. If you, have, if you have any extra, you can always take a cloth and wipe it off. Then the last two pieces of your clarinet are the reed, which make the vibrating sounds in your ligature. You always want to wet your reed before you put it on, either in your mouth or a glass of water. Then you line up the top of the reed with the top of your mouthpiece. And lastly, the ligature goes on. And you want to screw it on very tightly so that the reed stays nice and firm. Then you're ready to play.